Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I've been kind of MIA for a little while. Uh, I really haven't had any parts or anything to do on my cars since the last video. So, and I've been kind of lazy. I got a new job. Uh, I work at BMW now. For those that don't know, like me personally, uh, I work at BMW now and I'm really happy uh, I made the change. I used to work at Toyota just in uh, Express Lube and I really didn't want to move up there. So uh, as you can tell from my channel, I have a passion for BMWs and I just really love the cars. So I thought maybe let's see how BMW works out and I'm really loving it so far. I think it's a really cool place to work and it's just, it's just awesome. So uh, other than that, uh, I have something to do on my E92 today. I'm gonna make these boring gauge clusters, I guess the backgrounds of the gauge clusters, a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more popping. I'm gonna be changing out the LEDs inside my gauge cluster from the orange that they are now. I'll post a picture up so you can see what that looks like for those that don't know. And I'm gonna be changing them all to white. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with the orange. People who have white LEDs like Harry and his Tiguan, uh, he says he thinks the orange is pretty cool because like I said, he has white, so he's used to it. And you know, you really just want what you don't have, which is, I guess my situation. I have orange and I want white. He has white and he wants orange. So I'm gonna be swapping these over to some nice, like bright, vibrant white LEDs because I, it changes up the interior. And as you saw in that picture, this middle like setup is like dark, reddish orange with lighter orange like words on top and when you do the swap to white it makes it like blue and white which it looks really cool so i am eventually going to be doing the radio and the um like ac settings and the heated seat settings and like all this stuff up here eventually but for now i'm just gonna get them i'm just gonna kind of get my feet wet with doing it to the instrument cluster the gauge cluster so Starting on taking it out, I'm gonna first take my steering wheel off. And there are two, I believe, T10 torque screws up top. And then once the whole thing comes out, there's one or two plugs on the back, we'll see. And then it just comes out, it's really easy. I got the instrument cluster inside on the table, ready to start ripping it apart. I wanted to show you guys the LEDs that I bought uh, beforehand. These are them, they came in like a big bandolier of them, which I think is pretty cool. Um, they have this little clear protection film holding them in so they don't fall out. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're all jiggling around in there. Um, but yeah, kind of daunting seeing how small they are. Uh, it's pretty scary that I'm gonna be soldering these in. That's why my roommate's gonna be helping me. Because I don't know really what I'm doing. So I'm going to start cracking it apart and see what we're looking at. Definitely keep your screws in like a safe place. I'm going to be putting everything in this baggie that the LEDs came in. Just so I don't lose anything, which I tend to do a lot. After that, you're going to want to use some sort of pry tool or a flat head. Um, you can use your fingers, uh, but I don't know, I don't want to pry them too far and break them. So you're going to want to be prying on these tabs right here. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. You kind of just got to finagle with them. There we go. This other half, I believe, just comes off. All right, so I figured it out. On this harness right here, there's two clips. There's actually four clips. There's one on this side, one on this side, one on that side, one on that side. They're those really long, skinny things right there on each side of this harness plug. You squeeze those in and then this comes off. The next step you're going to want to do is pry these needle off. 
these needles off, be very careful not to pry on the actual like lenses, I guess you could say, the needles themselves. Just pry on the the center, like I guess hubs of the needles. And you're gonna wanna put something down on the this background because uh, you don't wanna scratch it. I've heard that this scratch is very easy in all the DIYs I watched on how to do this. So I'm gonna just get a piece of paper and put it down. Now that the needles are off, you can flip it over. Um, watch out for this this thing right here. You don't want to snap it off, so don't lay it on its face. Um, next thing is there's four clips, one on kind of each corner, as you can see. You pry those up, and this board should come off. All right. This top part's off, and now we're down to the board itself, which is really scary because uh, this is where you can start breaking stuff. As you can see, all the LEDs on here, the, they're all those white squares. Um, we're not done yet disassembling. We do have to still take this LCD screen off. Um, and then to do that, there's a plug. It's that long white strip you see right there. On the board, see this white strip? That white strip is where the like the harness plugs into, that little pin, that little ribbon connector, I guess you can call it. This black strip on top is actually a lock. So it's pressed in usually to lock the ribbon cable in. You're gonna wanna pull up on it about a millimeter or two. It comes up and then it unlocks, and then the ribbon cable will slide right out, and then the actual screen itself just pulls right up off of the board. It's plugged into these two black things right here. Now that we're down to the board itself, we can start, um, I guess, unsoldering all of the little uh, LEDs on here. You don't wanna take all the LEDs off at once because by doing this, you'll mix up how they're supposed to go back on. You wanna do them one by one. By doing this, you'll make sure that you're putting the new LEDs back on in the same orientation that the old ones are coming off. I'm gonna post a picture up of what the LEDs look like super close up. As you can see, one of the corners is notched off on the LEDs. The reason for this is to mark the polarity of the LED. By polarity, I mean which side is negative and which side is positive. This is very important because if you switch them up, you could fry something on your board. I'm not sure the exact measures you could go to um, of harm, but definitely you don't want to go ahead and be in that situation. So again, put them on one by one and make sure you're putting them together the exact way the old ones came off. It's good to point out which LEDs you guys are actually doing. Here's a picture of the LEDs you guys are going to be replacing. They're uh, circled in red. The six that aren't within the square do not need to be replaced. I didn't know this till later on, but you guys will see at the end of the video why they do not need to be replaced. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get through them all, and then hopefully I don't have any issues. But I'll see you guys when I'm all done. So I inspired Harry to pull his gauge cluster out and uh, his is white like I said before and like I said again, you want what you don't have. He has white and he wants orange and I have orange and he wants white. No, I have orange and I want white. So he's taking my old white LEDs and he's swapping his white cluster to orange. All the rest of my like dials and stuff are, are like red or orange. So, and for some reason the dash is just white. So he thinks it'll match better. I think it will too. 
Um, what was I gonna say? Probably should have just stole your old white ones <laughs> instead of buying my own, but. Well, dude, I didn't even like think about this. It's alright, we'll get back to it. Alright, it's plugged in, LCD screen's on. I'm gonna put the key in, see what happens. Oh, alright, so right off the bat, those are my just like codes. I think like one's airbag, seatbelt, stupid stuff. These are my dials, so all six are working, which is the ones I replaced. Again, these are the dials, all six are working. I replaced them. Um, let's turn the car on. Oh, all right, so as you can see, like this down here is like blue and white, um, which is exactly what I was going for. I guess that's why um, those six that I didn't replace are different uh, for that reasoning, because then I would have all white of those, which as you can see, some of them are different color. You got a yellow one. So yeah, that one's red, yellow or orange. So the reason those six are that color is I think they're multicolor. That's why I have different posts. So it makes it so they can change color like that. So everything is looking good. But once that goes away, I don't think it's gonna go away because my battery is like almost stone dead from sitting. But once that goes away, as you saw when I first turned it on, it was blue. It showed the date and the time in blue. So everything is, is exactly how I want it to be. So now we can go ahead and start throwing the entire like um, gauge cluster back together, needles and everything. All together now I'm gonna go throw it in the car and see what it looks like with all the gauges and the needles back on. All right guys, I had to wait till it was nighttime, but we are back in the car and I'm ready to show you guys what it looks like. It came out awesome and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Now remember, this is what it used to look like. That's why I'm showing you this. That's why the camera is pointed towards this stuff. I will be doing this center console stuff at a later time, um, probably next or the video after that. So uh, keep a lookout for that. But here is what the dash looks like, or the gauge cluster. Really nice. Uh, it actually has more of a, like a, uh, a blue tinge to it, which actually looks really cool. It, actually, on camera it has a bluish tinge. In real life it's like a blackish, whitish, black and white tinge. Um, but it looks really good. Uh, those, those six LEDs, as I was saying before, uh, that I didn't change out are for these codes that you can see the airbag light and then when I press the button on the the BC button it goes back to this uh, blue and white um, but yeah I think that looks absolutely awesome I think it looks way better than uh, the stock orange and it just looks really cool and it's different because not a lot of people have this uh, I've only seen this done on like uh, E90 post forums and other forums like that but never have I seen it done in person uh, like I said, gonna be doing the center console stuff next, maybe even the start stop button, we'll see. But I think it came out absolutely killer. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, and if you guys are doing this to your own car, hit me with a comment, let me know that you guys are doing it. Uh, hit me with a thumbs up if you're doing it. Uh, I really hope to show you guys that like doing these sort of mods are really easy to do and really anybody can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and you know, like I said, hit me with that comment, hit me with that like, and hit me with that subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.